Good evening friends. We are doing concise physics class 9 chapter pressure in fluids numericals. Numericals number 4. Calculate the height of a water column which will exert on its base the same pressure as the 70 centimeter column of mercury. So you have to find what is the height of the water column that will have the same pressure that will exert the same pressure as instead of water if you use mercury of 70 centimeter it will have the same pressure on that bottom of that particular vessel so uh, let's put mercury with silver so this is mercury and this is if this is 70 centimeter then you have to find at what is the height of the water column So, <coughs> logically speaking, the height of the water column have to be more because the density of water is less. So, we need more water to have the similar pressure. So, we know it is like, it will be more. But what is exactly what is the height, we don't know. Let's put it X. So, according uh, to the formula of pressure, <coughs> we know pressure is equal to? density indigo. Into, indigo. into height into acceleration due to gravity okay so for mercury pressure mercury it is what is the density of the mercury 13.6 what is the height of mercury that is 70 what is acceleration due to gravity? We just put G. We My need not put blue. we need not put the value of it. And you see one thing, see we are not even changing uh, the CGS unit into SI unit. Because even if you change it, uh, it will have the same results. We'll we'll find out why it is. Now if you take the pressure, which will have the same by for water. So water. What is the density of water in CGS unit? One one gram per centimeter cube? What is the height? We put it x, x, let's put that in blue so that you can understand the difference between x and multiplication. Into what? Into again g, same g for whatever, whatever the fluid you are using, the acceleration due to gravity is independent of the type of fluid you are using. So the condition is the pressure, both this pressure, this and <coughs> this pressure are same. So Pm that is pressure due to mercury is equal to pressure of water so if you put this equation if you equate this equation 13.6 into 70 into g equal to 1 into x this is x into g so this g and this g cancels out 1 to x is equal to x so 13.6 <coughs> multiplied by 70 is equal to x where x is the height of the water column so if we multiply 13.6 into x we can uh, we can see that if you take this zero and this decimal we can evaluate it will come at 136 into <coughs> 7 okay that is equal to x so let's multiply this 136 into 7 136 into 7 is nothing but 7 6 or 42 we have 4 in hand 7 3 is 21 plus 4 that is 25 we have 2 in hand 
7 1 is 7 plus 2 that's 9 so that is nothing but 952 that is equal to x so height of the water column that is x is equal to 952 centimeter okay so you need to convert into meter because the answer is given in meters so you have to divide this by 100 because we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 1 centimeter is nothing but 1 by 100 meter so dividing by 100 952 by 100 is nothing but 9.52 meter so this is your answer for the first part so what we require this is 70 centimeter we require for the same kind of pressure if it if I have to replace mercury water, we require 952 centimeter height of the water. It doesn't matter what is the surface, what is the uh, cross section area of that particular tube, but pressure only depends upon the height. That is nothing but 9.52 meter. The second part of the question will the height of the water column? in part a change if the cross section of the water column is made wider the answer is no it won't change why it won't change that's because the pressure that is exerted on the base of the vessel doesn't really depend upon the volume it only depends on the height if you make it a broader even if you increase the base of that particular particular vessel we required more volume of water to reach 952 centimeter or 9.52. The answer of the second part is no. It doesn't depends upon the cross section. It only depends upon the height of the water column. Okay, that's your answer. Thank you. We'll come back with more problems on pressure on fluids next time.